Hi guys, today is a video that I wasn't planning on making. I wasn't gonna have a video up till Wednesday um, when I do my giveaway, but I had to make this video because I've discovered a product in the last week that is absolutely amazing. And for those of you that have oily skin like me, you have to try this. I don't normally make a video on one particular product. Sometimes I'll do kind of a review of something, a day test of something if a lot of people ask for it. But this is a completely, I've never heard of this product before, completely kind of unknown product, quite new. Um, and something I would have reviewed in my blog and that's it, but you guys need to know about this. If you have dry skin or normal skin, you don't suffer from oil, they do different primers from different things, kind of hydrating primers and stuff like that. Uh, they do loads of different primers, but I just wasn't interested in any of them. Um, and to be quite honest, when they contacted me and asked if I wanted to try them, I was like, no, don't like primers, they never work for me, um, so it's kind of pointless. And I actually sat on my desk for maybe a week, two weeks before I actually try it. So I wasn't really expecting anything at all, but it's so, so amazing. It's Gosh Prime and Set. It's primer and mattifying setting powder. Um, and it says two in one, and that's because you can use it as a primer and as a setting powder. I forgot to put powder on at all recently when I went to work. Um, and by maybe 10, 11 o'clock, I went to the bathroom and was like, oh my God, I, was, I just looked like I'd been sprayed with water. So even in these cold months, I still suffer with oil and I can't control it. There's nothing I've ever tried that I would say, yeah, this is absolutely amazing and I have to use this. And I've tried some really expensive stuff. I bought Estee Lauder Double Wear, thinking that that was gonna be it. It's long wearing, it's really, really great, but it's not really oil controlling, it's okay, but it's you're still gonna get shiny. I tried um, Urban Decay D-Slick, both the spray and the powder. They're good, um, and compared to a lot of other things, they're really, really great, but they're still not kind of holy grail, I would recommend it if you're oily, um, whereas this, you have to try this. If you suffer from oil, and I want you to try this and let me know whether or not it works as well for you, because obviously there's varying degrees of oily skin. Some people, this might not quite be enough for, but even if you're really, really oily, you're gonna get some kind of result from this. I just know you are. Um, so this is what it looks like on the inside. It's kind of got that mineral powder thing. Just very, very, very fine. Um, very, very silky. I would compare it um, in how it feels on my skin to the Urban Decay D Slick, just a really fine powder. And it is white, but it doesn't leave kind of a cast. Um, it can look a little bit dry. I'm gonna show you now me applying it. I apply it on bare skin. I don't put any kind of, I, I have used moisturizer and serum underneath it, and it works, but kind of just for the purpose of this, I don't tend to wear moisturizer or serum before putting on my makeup. I do that first of all as my primer, just in exactly the same way that you would put a normal primer on, but it's a powder. Um, and that was the kind of most bizarre thing for me. I thought, well, maybe it's only something that you can use with mineral products. It's something that you can only use with kind of a powder foundation, but it's not at all. I don't wait a certain amount of time. I just immediately put on my foundation, which in case you're wondering, is the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous, which you can't get in the UK, but it's called Facefinity from Max Factor here. Um, and I love this stuff, but again, it's nothing particularly special oil control wise. It's okay, but that alone would not do it. Um, so then I put on my foundation, my concealer, etc., the rest of my makeup, and then I set it with this powder. In the video that I filmed, I kind of did all of my makeup and then set it with my powder, whereas obviously on a, a normal daily life day, um, I would kind of just do my foundation, set the powder, and then do the rest of it. But this I then use as my only powder. I don't use a normal powder, I don't use another face powder at all. I just kind of like sandwich my makeup between this powder. Um, I've had maybe three or four days of real testing of this product and yesterday we went out to Birmingham, the Bullring, shopping all day and I maybe got ready seven, eight o'clock in the morning um, and it always distracts me when someone's outside my house. Anyway, I maybe got ready at seven and eight o'clock in the morning and um, we were back at maybe nine, ten o'clock at night, I think. It was nine o'clock-ish. Um, that we were back and I took pictures kind of on the way there and on the way back and I swear to god there was no oil maybe slightly dewy looking kind of around here but no shine nothing that like if I saw that uh, when I popped to the bathroom at work I wouldn't even feel like I needed to blot or anything um, nothing at all and that's just amazing I've done a full day of work two full days at work with no shine whatsoever I cannot speak highly enough about this product and I cannot tell you enough how I didn't expect it to work it was kind of one of those things that someone said they wanted to send me to review and I was like well not sponsored anyway not you know I'm not being paid to talk about it and I didn't even have to review it if I didn't like it or I didn't really find particularly interesting. The other primers that I was sent, I'm not even gonna review because I know 
but I'm not interested in those. But this is amazing. Really interested to see how it works in um, the warmer weather and I will definitely keep you posted. But I ha this is just, like I say, completely impromptu rave about a product that I've just tried and found and love. Uh, and I had to let you guys know about it. I thought that just a blog post really wasn't sufficient because I know a lot of you don't read my blog. Um, but there are lots of blog posts every single week, nearly every single day, and it's linked below. Um, but lots of blog posts that you guys wouldn't even catch. So I really wanted to just rave. There's, there's no downside at all. Potentially it looks a little bit dry around the nose and around drier areas when you first put it on. But that's it. And I'm sure that there are lots of you out there that would take that over looking oily. So... Yeah, sorry about my just like, nah, this is amazing, but that's all I can say about it. It's so simple to use, really self-explanatory, and it just works. So I hope you guys love it as much as I do. If you have any other kind of special oil control tips that you want to share, leave a comment as well, because it's always good to share that kind of thing. And there are so many of us that are just like tearing our hair out, trying to uh, control it, especially in the warmer months. Last summer, I seriously spent so much money trying to find something that would work and nothing would work. So I'm really interested to see if this does, but yeah. Rambled on, repeated myself enough, try it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.